My daughter and I both fell in love with this grandfather clock at the thrift store. It would have been 1750, but we didn't know if we could fit it into the back of my RAV4. I think it was too long, but I sure wish we would have double checked the measurements. Measure your car before you go thrifting so you don't leave things behind and regret it. The other thing I le regret leaving behind, different store, different day, is this little flip top table. It only would have been like $7.50. It would have been perfect for my stitching corner. But we were at the Scandinavian festival and we were walking and it didn't seem at all reasonable to buy it. These old vintage bars fascinate me. I don't know why. I'm not much of a drinker. I don't have a house that would have a space for something like this. But I love to picture the houses that they did come from. For $200, I hope somebody found it who is going to absolutely love it. I'm not sure. There was something about this trunk that made me take pictures of it. Can't for the life of me now remember what that was. I like old trunks, but I can't remember what was special about this one. Vintage beauty parlor chairs are one of those things that fascinate me. I don't need one. I can't possibly justify buying one, but I will always stop to look at them. And I'll always stop to look at the old office equipment because it makes me happy. This is the second one of these hobnail milk glass trays that I found. This is completely different than the first one. Doesn't have a weird little flower in it. I would have brought it home, except again, we were walking and this thing was ridiculously heavy. I'm going to find another one. Eventually there will be one that comes home with me. Now I'd never seen one before in my life until a couple of months ago, but I'm sure there have to be more out there. Looking for a Chilton's book for my son's car. This one's about 20 some years too old. And I probably should start looking for some of these dolls because I definitely want to learn to crochet and try to crochet dresses from that book of doll dresses that my great grandma did. I see naked ones now and then for dirt cheap. So I need to keep my eyes open. And when I find one, I need to pick it up. Different day, different store. I found cross stitch. I saw the first one from about 20 feet away. If you see one, sort through the crafting section because sometimes if you see more, if you see one, there are more buried in there. My hunch was right and I actually found a lot of partially finished projects hiding in here. This first one was just a loose piece of Ada. I don't know what the design is. I mean, it says Christmas on it, so there's a clue for you. This one is a sampler. I don't know, a ju something jewel band sampler. I don't think that that stitching there on the back matches the project on the front. And I think there were two pieces of linen in there, so I'm not sure what was going on. This sampler was pretty. I love the border. And it was just kind of barely ziploc together, so I carefully took it out to get a better look. This is gorgeous, and look at the texture on that sheep. I don't know what stitch that is. Whatever that is, I want to learn to do it, but I left it for someone else. I don't know what the pattern was because I was too distracted by the threads. There were seven skeins of gentle arts in there. Even if they were partial skeins, seven for $1.99 is a heck of a deal. This one was a birth sampler. Again, it had fancy flaws. This one had two partial projects. That's not a floss I'm familiar with, but fancier than DMC maybe. And this one was a punch needle project that looked like it had a bunch of weeks dye works in it. I couldn't see myself finishing any of these, especially not with as many irons as I have in the fire right now, but that floss probably would have been a good deal. 
this is probably one of my favorite finds of the day. I love old desks, flip top desks like this. There's the spot for the pencils and the inkwell and inside there is a record player. My daughter opened it up. I don't know if I would have opened it myself. I might have missed this. So open the cupboards, open the drawers and see what there is to see. This is a vintage record player with all of its original paperwork. I love the idea that it was hiding in a piece of furniture that's pretending to be an antique desk. That concept just makes me smile and I hope it works. I hope it winds up with someone who will love it because it's amazing. Here's another cross stitch project that is very tightly sealed up so you can't tell what's in there. I saw that there was paper and I kind of wiggled the bobbins of floss around enough to see that it was a Bucilla kit. I googled when I got home and this is a row of houses called Diamond Avenue. I could have figured that out there in the store, but it didn't look like something that I needed. If it had been a Dimensions kit, I would have totally bought it. Let me know what you would have done. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you with more videos soon.